Good Friday morning, everybody. I'm so glad that you are here for this episode of Talk About It Friday. We have tons of questions to get to today, and there's some that might even be about snow that is in the forecast. So let's get right down to it. Here we go. All right, friends, like I said, snow is in the forecast. And the first question that we have for today is with the snow in the forecast, what is your favorite snow activity? So friends, there are always a lot of things to do when the snow comes in. It's usually when the first snow comes that you get out and you do all kinds of things. You want to get out there and put your snow pants on and go crazy in the snow. Now, when I was a kid, I definitely was all about this. It was when the snow hit, you were outside doing all kinds of fun things. But my favorite thing to do was always make snow forts. That's right, friends. Out of making snowmen, snow angels, throwing snowballs or sledding or anything like that, I was the one who would love to make a good snow fort. I would build them up like, kind of like igloos where you know you take like the snowballs and pack them up and go around. So in an alternate universe, I am an architect. I always enjoyed building things. So this snow fort idea was always something that I really like to do. I like to make really cool, um, intricate forts. So the cool thing about where I grew up in Peshtigo is that my house has a roundabout driveway where it has two entrances and it kind of makes a circle. And when we would get a lot of snow or like in the middle of the winter when all the snow would build up, with the way that my dad would snow plow, there would be this heaping mound of snow on one of the sides of the circles. So what I would do with this really cool idea for a snow fort is dig that out. So I'd have this huge mound of snow that I would dig a trench into and then you could literally sit in there and not be seen anywhere. So that was like the coolest idea that I always had for a snow fort. So we would always build snow forts in that same little area. And that was really the fun part of my winter. The sad thing always is, is when the snow starts to melt and you see your snow, then go away. But we should not be worrying about that because the snow is coming and winter is starting. So if you are into snow activities and really want to know what I like to do, I like to build snow forts. So the next question also has to do with snow. And it's typically when we get a lot of snow, you'd have a snow day. But with everything changing in 2020, it seems like snow days are gone because you'll now be able to go to school virtually. So the next question is, how do you feel about virtual school days taking away snow days? And friends, let me tell you, I think it is quite a bummer. However, it is good for you to be in school. I mean, I mean, when I think back to when I was in school, some of the best parts of being in school with a snow day is waking up super early, watching the news, looking at the ticker on the bottom of the screen to see which schools are uh, delayed or are not going to school that day, they're closed. And then you see your school and you're like, yes, we have a snow day. We can do whatever we want. Like that is something that you'll probably never experience anymore. And I think for me, that's a big bummer because that's huge nostalgia for me. Like. I loved when you could wake up and see that. And that's something that kids these days aren't gonna experience. It's something that you guys aren't gonna ever experience anymore. And so for that, I think it's a major bummer because it was exciting when you could just wake up, see your school is closed and then not do anything for the day, play video games all day or go like sledding or something like that or build a fort like I really like to do. So I think it's a huge bummer. However, I think it's really cool also that school has adapted ways where we can now learn at different levels. Now I know virtual school is very different from what it is when you go to school. Like I know a lot of students and a lot, a lot of you guys are struggling, but I think it's also a pretty cool adaptation of school so that you don't miss a beat, that you don't miss anything and that you can continue to go, even though it can be a major bummer. So that's kind of how I feel about virtual school days taking over snow days. It is a total bummer. Snow days are some of the best parts of school, even though it's when you're not in school, but you know, you know what I mean? It's just, it's a fun thing that you can experience. And now that you're not getting that, it's kind of, it's a bummer, but it's a good thing that school's adapting. So that's my hot take. All right, friends, for the this or that's today, we are going to stick with the snow theme. And the question that came in is, do you like to make snowmen or do you like to make snow angels better? So friends, as I was talking about, snow activities are super fun. You're probably going to be out doing these things when it snows, if it snows, coming up in the next few days. So which one do you prefer? And I would have to say that even though snow angels are super fun to make, I am a total snowman person. I like to get up there with the packy snow, roll it all up and make a really cool snowman. Here's a picture of a snowman that I made a couple years ago with some of my friends. And it was just something that I really like to do. It's really fun to create snowmen. I like to put hair on my snowman, as you can see with this one, you put a bunch of sticks in, but it just, it's more fun than just kind of 
going in the snow like a snow angel, even though snow angels are fun. It's really hard to make the perfect one, you know, because you always have to get up and then you ruin it. So that's kind of also why I would prefer snowmen. But yeah, I'm going to take snowmen on this before I go and make a snow angel. All right, friends, the next question that we have for this, so that's is still revolving around snow and is back to kind of where we were last week with the Christmas theme. And the question is, do you prefer Christmas Eve or do you prefer Christmas Day? So I think when I was younger, I definitely preferred Christmas Day for obvious reasons. I was a kid who had a lot of Christmas spirit. I was waiting for Santa to bring Christmas presents and I would wake up and have, you know, that experience. It would be really fun to have that, that Christmas magic. But I think as I've grown older, not necessarily that I have lost the Christmas spirit, but I, as I've grown older, I've really enjoyed uh, Christmas Eve. See, at my home church in Peshtigo, my family always would be the ushers for Christmas Eve. So we would be the ones kind of running the show behind the scenes, you know, something that we always did we always dressed up for it so it was always really fun to do on christmas eve but as i grew older i i got more involved i was playing the music and i think my best memory from like christmas experience at church was in 2018 i believe it was so a few years ago when i was at home for christmas I got to play with uh, some of my family members on the guitar, Silent Night. So the classic church moment of every light being off and all the candles are lit. And I was at the front of the sanctuary playing along and it was just a really cool scene to see. It's not something that everybody gets to see, you know, like where you're looking on people. So it was a really cool experience. And I think since I've been more involved in the Christmas Eve service and have that experience, I really enjoy Christmas Eve. And I think I've always started to enjoy Christmas Eve more because it's more of that the end of the waiting of Advent. As we've been talking about in our Wednesday devotions about Advent and how it's a season of waiting and Christmas Eve is finally the end of that waiting. So I think I would go with Christmas Eve these days over Christmas Day. So that is our listen that's for this week. Now I would like to end by thanking you so much for all of your support and all of your hard work in making ornaments for the Era Senior Network. That's right, yesterday was the deadline for you to hand in your ornaments. So if you have ornaments still out there, it's okay because I'm getting them to the Era Senior Network on Monday. So you can kind of extend your deadline, but make sure that you get your ornaments because the deadline was yesterday. But thank you so much for all of your help and all of your support and all of your craftiness in making some ornaments for the Era Senior Network. We are going to be able to send down a bunch of ornaments. I have some of them at my house right now, but I know that there are more at church. So later next week, I will have a final count that I'll be able to tell you how many ornaments we were able to make and then donate to the seniors of the Era Senior Network and bring some joy to their Christmas and have them in a holly jolly mood, even though it's kind of this crazy year with 2020. I'm so thankful to have you guys to help with uh, bringing Christmas spirit to those who might really need it during this time. So thank you so much for all of your help in that service project that we did. I'm so very thankful for you guys and all that you do for this ministry. It helps really make this job worthwhile even during this time where we can't be together on our typical program nights, we can still make this possible and do great work in our community. So thank you so much. And that's how I want to end this Talk About It Friday. I want to end it with my gratitude to you. Thank you for these questions that we have. I hope you enjoyed talking about these snow days and what I like to do for snow activities and a little bit more of the Christmas atmosphere as we grow closer to uh, the holiday season. So thank you so much. I hope you have a great and safe weekend. I will see you later next week as we get back into some motivation on Monday. But yes, yeah, stay safe, everybody, and enjoy your weekend. So see you later.